Hello and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be looking at some smart plugs. Uh, I've got two here to look at. I've got the TP-Link uh, and a TP-Link, but they're slightly different. One of them uh, is just a normal smart plug and the other one has uh, energy monitoring features. So uh, we're going to have a quick look at these. We're going to do an unboxing, uh, a setup and then a, and then a test um, with Alexa in particular. Uh, apparently they also work with Google Assistant. Uh, I'm not going to cover that in this video, but uh, I will cover the Alexa part. So let's go in and uh, start unboxing these. Okay, so we'll quickly start and have a, just have a look at the box in general. So on the front, obviously you have the picture of the device itself. Uh, you know which ones are which because uh, this one says it has uh, the energy uh, monitoring uh, support. Um, they have remote access, They're also, uh, they also allow scheduling, they have an away mode, whatever. Uh, I'm guessing that's if you go on holiday, because uh, on the here it says it, it's, it's got an icon for a, a plane, um, so I'm guessing it's, uh, yes, yeah, so you, so on the back it says uh, you can uh, control your devices anywhere, um, that would be the smart aspect of the plug. Uh, you can schedule, so you say you wake up at 7 every morning, you could turn the kettle on, or, for example, at 7 every morning. Um, and then you've also got the, the away mode, so yeah, that is uh, to simulate occupancy while you're away. So say you're on holiday, you can turn multiple lights on around the house. Um, I wonder if it does it randomly as well, rather than a schedule. Uh, we'll have to have a little look at that. So, it says uh, on, the, on the other side, we have an easy setup. So apparently there are just three steps to set this up. First is to download the app, so we're going to do that on both... Uh, the, on, either, on an Apple device and an Android device. Uh, that will come in a bit once we've done the initial unbox. Uh, then you just plug it into the wall and then you can configure it in the, in the app. So uh, also in this range, they do smart LED bulbs. Uh, I won't be using any of them. I may get a few just to play with, but I have uh, Philips Hue lighting in this room. Uh, and then we've also got the uh, uh, cameras uh, you can also have the, the plugs, which is obviously what we're looking at now. And then you've also got Wi-Fi smart switches. So, yeah, let's uh, go in and just uh, start unboxing him. I might turn the light on a little bit here just to give us a bit of extra light. I'm not sure if we would need it, but hey, let's do it. So let's start with this one, the normal, the basic uh, Wi-Fi smart plug. So nice little box. Is it going to be a box in a box? It's kind of a box in a box. So let's just get rid of that. There's nothing else in there. It's literally just a box. First of all, we've got some instructions. Now I am going to read the whole, no, I'm not going to do that to you. Uh, also not going to read the technical support and I'm also not going to read that. Uh, this I might keep out because that's going to help us set up later on. Uh, and then we go, we go straight into the plug. So let's have some initial feelage. Um, Good, yeah, it's a nice weight. It's a uh, plastic, plastic casing, very nice, um, sleek. It would fit nicely into a wall. It would be uh, kind of unnoticed. So, as with most electronics, there is some plastic. Now let's peel this back. Isn't that sus uh, satisfactory? Satisfactory, satisfying. Yes, it's very satisfying um, and satisfactory. So, is there anything else in this box? It's Otherwise, uh, there is nothing else in this box apart from some supporting and uh, this plastic thing. So that's all that's in the box. Not a lot, really. These are the most useful things in the box, probably. So we have our smart plug. Do we have anything on the back? Uh, so we've got the model number. Uh, we have the input voltage. It's 100 to 240 volts, so it should be uh, all right for pretty much anywhere in the world. Uh, and it can also output 13 amps. Uh, which is kind of what you would expect as this is a 13 amp socket in the UK. So uh, yeah, it's about 250 watts, uh, 2,500 watts or 2.5 kilowatts. So um, that's approximate. It's uh, whatever your until the fuse blows really. That's how I work by it. Even though I'm an electrician, uh, yeah, we just go by, yeah, that's not how we do it. But. Anyway, let's move on to setting it actually we'll just unbox the other one quick just to see if there's anything different in in here and it might be slightly different there might be some telltale signs which are different so this is the uh, energy monitoring one uh, so whereas this one is just either on or off uh, this one will actually be on or off and auto monitor 
how much power you're using so you can see if you're using all 13 amps uh, which you might be able to do if you chain a couple of kettles together again let's take a moment to peel this back lovely so on the back on the side so this is the energy monitoring one again there is pretty much no difference apart from what i can see at the minute is the color so this has got a, a white infill and this has got a gray infill you can just about see that on the camera um we've both got some buttons at the top they look like this they're cog buttons so i'm guessing they're for pairing or something or maybe resetting uh on the back it just basically has the model um both of them are 13 amps so yeah cool uh and there's also you get the same documentation and nothing else in the box so let's move on to installing the app okay so here we are we're going to be doing it on an ipad initially so you can either download the app uh by going to it manually or you can scan a little qr code uh, i'm actually just going to go via the app store and get it because it, it'll probably just be just as quick so what we need to do is search for an app called tp tp link uh, is it going to come up already not yet uh, actually, i'll just search for tp link and see what we get so it's not that one it's not that one it's not that one it's also not these ones let's keep searching so we need uh K -A S A. am not sure how you'd say that casa um oh maybe they don't have an ipad version let's have a look is this the first issue we've got iphone only i think we've only got an iphone version so okay not the worst thing in the world but okay so it only seems to be an uh phone optimize i wonder if the android's different we'll find out but yeah so we're still going to go ahead and do this on the ipad anyway because it's uh the only i device i've got set up at the moment so what we need to do is connect so we need to connect our device to i mean it does say mobile device here i guess you could say this is a mobile device you need to connect it to your home wi-fi um so that has already been done because i'm obviously downloading the app uh we'll also quickly download it on the android tablet just to see if it's any different so let me just open up the app store well it's not the app store on an, iPad, on an android is it so let's just make sure you can see that cool so what we are going to do is again search for tp link and it's come up there just give it a moment to load so it says it's for mobile so i guess yeah maybe they only seem to have a mobile version that's uh not a massive issue because i think once i've initially set it up i'll be using alexa anyway to control it um but i mean if you're out and about obviously you're going to use your phone over your tablet probably so it's not a massive issue i wouldn't see it as a massive massive issue but if uh, tp link happens to ever watch this it would be nice to have um, a tablet version as well so uh that is installing while it's installing i shall get the ipad back but as you can see it was pretty easy to install so we are now going to open the app oh great yeah look it's definitely classic um first of all you're greeted with a uh, screen where you should uh either create an account uh or you can skip it or you can log in i did create an account earlier so i'm going to log in quick so once you've logged in or not logged in it will probably ask you to if you want to send uh, notifications or allow, allow notifications i will do that um so we've got no devices yet let's first initially set one up on here and then we'll also set the other one up on the other device just to see it all working on both devices so no devices yet obviously because i've just set it up so we want to click on i mean down here is where you can see devices cameras scenes uh this is obviously if you've got all of the sort of the ecosystem uh, i only have the plugs so we're going to go and add and then we can uh, we need to then select what we're adding so we are adding a smart plug one of these ones power up your smart plug so i have a plug to hand i'm just going to do the normal one i think this is the normal one so uh 
let's plug that in and uh, the orange Wi-Fi light has come on straight away uh, da -da -da -da, wait for it to turn solid it is now solid so let's do next check your Wi-Fi light okay wait for about 15 seconds until the Wi-Fi light blinks amber and uh, yeah so it's doing that now it's flashing as it's uh, shown here so connect to your network yes so we need to connect to the Wi-Fi plug and then come back to this app so we need to go back to settings if you're on the iPad click on your Wi-Fi and we have the smart plug so you do have to be in range of it uh, we're going to connect to it it's unsecured cool we like unsecured no we don't but okay so we're now connected to that so it tells us to go back to the app it's thinking I haven't done anything it's literally just started thinking okay cool so now I can name it so I'm gonna call this uh, I mean I don't know where this is actually going yet so I'm just gonna call it uh, my smart plug one and uh, save it uh, do we want it to allow our yeah let's give it our location why not so we can give it um, an icon okay so if you've got special stuff plugged in say a heater or a toaster or lava lamp that's quite interesting is that a lava lamp i don't know anyway it's just gonna be a normal plug so we'll give it the normal icon then we need to give it the password for our wi-fi so i will quickly give it the password for our wi-fi not going to obviously do that on camera so we've put our password in we're going to save it because we don't want to do it all the time and uh, we're going to do next it says almost done so they're just finishing doing configuration let's just have a quick look at some of the lights so the Wi-Fi is flashing green, the power is green, it's now gone a, the Wi-Fi has now gone a solid green. So I think we are almost there. And there we go. So straight away we've got a firmware update. Cool. I like companies that give us firmware updates. It means they're doing doing stuff. We're going to quickly update that and just see how long this takes. Hopefully it won't take long. It says it could take a few minutes. Um, so let's find out. Okay, so that took roughly a minute or so. So uh, it's now, uh, it might take a few minutes to restart. So, okay, cool, done, uh, done. There we go. We have that. I'm not sure if you, lit I don't know if you just heard that click, but that is the relay inside the uh, thing. It's just rebooting now. Uh, it just clicked again. Not sure if you heard that or not, but it did click. Uh, it's nice to have a physical click. It means I'm using mechanical relays. So, um, that is rebooting back up. I will just double check that's working. So if I click this, it should hear another click. Oh, oh okay, click. Is it going to click? It clicked. Um, let's hear it again. And it clicked. Okay, cool. So that is working. Um, let's move over to the Android tablet and do the same setup. Okay, so here we are on the Android tablet. Uh, straight away, initially, it looks nicer than the iPad did. Um, Android seems to be a, a, a little bit better when it comes to uh, putting phone apps on a desk on a tablet sort of screen. Um, not sure if other people agree on that, but that's how I see it. It definitely looks a bit better than having the big black border around and the yeah. So straight away, I'm going to log in again. So I shall do that now. Okay, so here we are. We're logged in. Um, it does say no devices yet. I'm not sure. Oh no. Okay, there we go. It's just picked up the uh, the other one which was on my account so what we are going to do is set up this one on uh, on here so we want to go back to the plus we want to I mean this is definitely a nicer interface you have to agree this is nicer than using it on the iPad for example so good points for Android and their app here I mean I'd forgive them a little bit uh, but definitely on the iPad it needs it needs some work on the iPad so we're going to add a smart plug Again, we're going to plug this one into our socket. It's doing its initial boot, it's gone orange, so it will turn a solid amber. Yeah, next. Now we need to wait 15 seconds or so for this Wi-Fi to start flashing. It's still solid amber at the moment. And it's just started flashing now, so we'll do next. Yeah, we'll allow location. It's probably now going to ask us to connect to its Wi-Fi. 
If it does it automatically, then that's... Uh... Okay, this is slightly different than the iPad. It's now looking for my smart device. It could take a few minutes. So, oh, okay, so it has automatically connected to it. That is a slightly nicer user interaction than uh, the iPad as such. So we're going to call this Smart 2, uh, Smart Plug 2. Uh, we're going to give it that, and uh, it's going to scan for the network. So this is where we need to add our Wi-Fi password, if I remember from when we set it up there. Yep, so it's going to add a, uh, ask us for our Wi-Fi. I'll uh, put that in now. So I put the Wi-Fi password in. It's almost done. There's probably going to be a firmware update as before with the other one. While it's doing that, quickly tidy up the desk a little bit, ready for the next set of tests. Okay, so this one took slightly longer. I'm not sure if because it's just a different version, it maybe had maybe it had more software to download. But it is done now, and uh, your smart plug is enabled. Cool, nice. So we've got that. Let's just quickly listen and see if we can hear it click. Yep. Cool, we can hear it click, it means it's working. Let's uh, go into it because this one should have, yes, this one has the uh, the usage report. So we can see how much we've got plugged in. Uh, well, we can see how much electricity we've used uh, and we can also see how long it has been running for. Um, we'll we will have to have a look at the other ones uh, uh, because obviously they're not gonna have this feature, but if you get the energy monitoring one, you get the total consumption, you get its current power, uh, from today you also get the same in the uh, last seven days and then also for the last 30 days uh, so that be that could be quite cool if you're quite energy conscious or you're just interested to see how much your kettle is using or something uh, or whatever you've got plugged into it so we've got our timer we've got our away settings and we've got our schedule settings so let's have a look at schedule uh, in here we can turn the plug on or we can turn the plug off there are two options we can do it uh, so we can turn it on or off at this time uh, and then we can also repeat it whenever we want to repeat it uh, so that's quite cool uh, away is so this is when you're away and this is when you're you're back um, does this allow you okay so you can set it up at sunrise or sunset can you do the other okay yes you can do sunrise or sunset uh, and this will so this will basically be lights will come on at this time and lights will go off at this time so maybe if you want something more dynamic rather than a, a static time uh, you could say uh, rather than setting something up randomly every day you could do the sunset and sunrise uh, so that's if you're away and then we've also got timer so in timer it, it basically does what it says so say after five minutes turn the plug on or five minutes turn the plug off um, very useful little features uh, and that's basically the interface for this. So let's actually go and see it. You uh, see it working uh, in an actual demonstration. Okay. So one thing to bear in mind is if you've got an extension lead and you want to try and plug uh, them next to each other, they may not work unless your extension lead is spread out far enough, um, because obviously they they're a bit bigger than normal plugs, uh, and they don't exactly fit side by side. So just bear that in mind. If you plan on having a couple of these plugged into uh, the same extension lead. So we're just going to plug both of these in. Uh, again, I think that one is the energy monitoring one. Uh, I've got a little thing here and uh, I've also got a sort of a flying saucer thing. So I might need to adjust the camera to show you this fully. Okay, so here we go. Let's go into the demonstration. So what we have on the app, uh, you can just about see it for, uh, I mean, it's a little bit harder to see it now that I've zoomed out, but we have our two devices on there with the uh, the green lights. Uh, they're stating that they're both on. Also visually on the units themselves, uh, you can also see the power light is green. Uh, so, and if we turn one of them off, say we turn this one off, you heard a click. Hopefully you heard a click. Uh, I, there is definitely a click uh, from the actual relay inside. And also the power light has gone off. So hopefully you saw that. Uh, you can also manually, so let's just turn that one back on and hopefully you can see the light come back on. It's here. If you look at it, it's come back on. Uh, and again, you heard the click. You can also turn them off manually if you haven't got your phone uh, or device to hand. So you can just push this button. Again, you hear a click. 
uh, and the light goes off, it also updates on the app as well. So let's turn it back on. Let's just see how quick it actually updates. So turning on now. And okay, so a couple of seconds to get back to the app, uh, which is acceptable. So uh, not sure what this setting thing is at the top. It's probably just as uh, if you push and hold it, it might reset it for, for if you ever need to reset it. So what we are going to do is first plug this in just to the normal one. So I've got a big transformer here. You can probably plug whatever you want into these. Um, but bear in mind that now I've plugged that in, I won't be able to manually turn it off. Um, so that, that, that could be an issue with big transformers, but it's not a massive issue. So the only way I'm gonna be able to turn this on and off now is by using this, uh, uh, not this, I don't know why I'm touching this, it's fun. So we're gonna use the app. So what we're gonna do is turn the smart plug one off. And this has gone off. Hopefully you can see that's gone off. And then we can turn it back on. Cool. Um, right, this is gonna be a live test. This is a first time test as well for me. I'm going to try it with uh, Alexa. Turn my, uh, actually no, this isn't gonna work yet because I need to set it up. Okay. Right, bear with. Okay, before we quickly do that, what I've decided to do is quickly show you the energy uh, monitoring one. Uh, we never actually went into this one. So, okay, so the normal one, you can just see the normal runtime. So the energy efficient one is now what it's plugged into. Uh, currently, we're using no electricity. Well, I mean, it's probably because it's so light anyway. Uh, let's go into it. Okay, so we can see currently we are using 17, uh, 16.8 watts. Um, I mean, does that correspond to anything on the transformer? Probably if I work it out, but okay, I'm just gonna go by that and say we're using 17, uh, let's just say, yeah, 16.8 watts. So uh, we can also turn this on and off again, remotely uh, via the app. Cool. Uh, let's quickly demonstrate the timer. So let's say we wanna turn it off in, I think we're gonna have to do a minute. So let's turn it off in one minute from now. Okay, so this timer that we just set, we've got five seconds left. Hopefully it will turn this plug off in one second. And there we go. It, oh, actually we got an error. Oh, cool. We got an error in the app, but it did, uh, it did turn the light off, which is, which is the main thing. That's what we want. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna quickly set it up with Alexa and pair it to my account. Um, may show you that process if it's uh, easy. So yeah, let's quickly go and have a look at that. Okay, so uh, I am gonna quickly show you this because I don't think it's gonna take too long. So basically on your device, you need to open up your Alexa app. So this is the Alexa app over here. We're gonna then go to skills. Um, basically skills are what, uh, uh, skills are like apps for Alexa. So when it's uh, gone and loaded, we're gonna type in TP-Link. And we're gonna pick the Cata one and we're going to enable it. So we're gonna to need to log in with our TP-Link account. So I will quickly do that now. Okay, so uh, I've just linked it. It now says I can close the window. So I shall close the window. Uh, I think I've already done that. So it should now say it's linked. Yes, it's now linked. So hopefully I can say, if I go back to here, I go back to here. So this is, let's say I wanna turn this one off first. So let's give this a go. Here we go. Uh, let me just actually turn the sound on so you can hear this. Right, I've turned the sound on. Let's just quickly do a test. Alexa, Simon says, hello. Hello. Cool, right, so we can hear Alexa. Okay, right, she just heard that. Right, let's, let's, let's be careful here. Alexa, turn on my smart plug one. Sorry, I didn't find my smart plug one. Oh, she didn't find it. Um, Alexa, turn off my smart plug one. Sorry, I didn't find my smart plug one. Okay, maybe we need to do something else. Okay, so, uh, uh, from that issue we just had there, what you actually need to do is go into your Alexa app. 
You then need Alexa, don't listen to that. Hmm, I don't know that one. <laughs> I'm going to mute her. Okay, so yeah, we need to go into the Alexa app and then uh, we need to click on the smart home. Uh, yeah, let's just do manage groups now, but yeah. So you would need to go into your devices. So obviously in here, uh, I've got all my lights. Uh, and what you need to do is uh, click on the add device. Uh, and that will search and scan for about 20 seconds or so. Um, make sure all your plugs are on. And then once it's done that, you will see your smart plugs show up here. So now we should be able to go, Alexa, turn my smart plug one off. Okay. There we go. We just heard it click. So let's, uh, let's give this one a name and call it, um, what should we call it? Edit its name. Let's call it. Uh, fun light. Give it done and okay. So we can also turn them on and off from the Alexa from this app as well. But let's say Alexa, turn on my fun light. And the fun okay. light came on. Okay, can we just say Alexa, turn off fun light? No, she didn't listen to that. Alexa, turn off fun light. Okay, okay, yeah, so we can do that. So that's pretty cool. Um, apparently it also works with uh, Google Assistant, but uh, I'm not gonna look at that in this video because pretty much everybody uh, has an Alexa and everyone kind of prefers to use them anyway. If you wanna see me use uh, the Google Assistant, let me know and uh, I'll definitely have a look into it. But yeah, for now, that has been a uh, overview, an unboxing, a setup, and a quick test and demonstration of the TP-Link smart plugs. Um, thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you in a future video.